Hello first grade, it's Miss Murphy and I'm here to read you a story today. This story, the title is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Have you heard of this story before? Maybe you have. It's written and illustrated by Mo Willems. So Mo Willems wrote the book and drew the pictures. And I see the pigeon right here. What do you notice about the cover of this book? What do you notice? Yeah, it looks like somebody drew it, right? It doesn't look very real, very good. Let's read and find out what Mo Willems wrote. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So here is the bus driver. Right here saying, do not let the pigeon drive this bus. He has to leave for a little while. Do you think the pigeon's gonna drive the bus? What do you notice about the words? Look closely at them. Yeah, they look like they were written in a, with a pencil. Let's keep going. Oh, I see the little pigeon. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Should we let him? Is the pigeon talking to us? I think so. Please, I'll be careful. He's begging us. Notice the pictures and the words are all in thought bubbles. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. So he's trying to convince us. True story. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. And there he goes, running to the bus. Come on, just once around the block. What do we say? But the bus driver said not to let the pigeon drive the bus. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? What's the big deal? It's just a bus, no fair. I bet your mom would let me. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. He's mad. This page is red. Why do you think this page is red? And the pigeon's going all crazy. Notice the pictures, like I said at the beginning, look like real drawings, not really professional like we usually see in our stories. He's sad, huh? Instead of a speech bubble, what does he have there? A squiggle, he has nothing to say. I'm back! You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. So here's the bus driver's back. 
And the pigeon saying, uh-oh, why? We didn't let him. Bye. And he lost his chance. He looks sad. The bus driver looks happy. <laughs> Hey, what's the pigeon thinking about here? I see a big truck wheel or a car maybe. What do you think he's thinking about? Now, what do you think he's thinking about? I see the speech bubble shows that he's thinking about what? Yeah, probably driving this truck. The end. So would you have let him drive the bus? Probably not. I don't think a pigeon knows how to drive a bus. But did you notice different things throughout the book that the author, Mo Willems, did? He had these speech bubbles all throughout that had what the words were. He had simple colors. repeated words. Think about those things this week as we read more stories. Hope you enjoyed it.